Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to place the apartments that I build. So, I'm at the remodel I did over here at Cheek, 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 Cheek Street the other day. This is actually just a live video, I'm not voiceovering because I'm just gonna show you in real time how I do it. First though, let us say hello to the ever lovely Tanisha and Clarissa, one of my cutest couples to date. Um, first thing you're going to do is uh, go into build mode, obviously. You need to be in the build mode. Is it loaded now? Yeah, okay, it's loaded. Sorry. It's just bulldoze it. Bulldoze everything. Get rid of everything on this lot. Okay, the next thing you're going to do Turn on move objects. I had it on. Sorry, I've been building. <laughs> um, you're going to turn it on just by entering it into the cheat bar. Um, if you don't know how to open the cheat bar, I know on PlayStation it's to hold all the shoulder buttons up top and then you can just click in it and type. I don't remember how to open it on PC. I'm sorry. I built on PlayStation. Um, the next thing after you have your move objects on, and the reason you do that on apartment builds is because you want to make sure that if I if I build anything or if you're using someone else's build, if they build anything that covers like the windows and these things right here and stuff, that it'll still place it down. Now, the next thing we're going to do after we turn move objects on is open up the gallery and you're going to open up and find the build you want to put down. An important thing about apartments is you have to put down a layout for the apartment you're in. If it's not built for that apartment, you're not going to be able to put it down, obviously. So just make sure that whatever one you're trying to put down is for the particular unit you're in. Right now I'm in 1330, 1313 21 Cheek Street. Um, my ghost hunter's apartment is Medina. It's over in the art district. That video went up sometime today. Now that I have everything ready, I'm going to hit place room. Um, I get this warning every time. I don't know why. Uh, I do have the content installed and it still does that. So once you hit place room and you have everything up, I always go into above view and you are just going to line it up like a jigsaw puzzle basically and then just place it, making sure that your sim has enough money to afford the room that you're trying to put down. Because if your sim doesn't have enough money, then you're going to get a, a weird error message, which should be here. Yeah, everything is here. And then you can just grab them and like drag them to recreate them, but I prefer just to draw the rooms back in like this. I think that's all of them. Yeah. And then I just grab my wall paper color or paint color in this instance and we put it back on everything um the i know on playstation the quick wrap button is triangle if you didn't know that so you don't have to go all the way up to get to the eyedropper tool you can just grab triangle and there you go i think yep that is it yeah and then that's all you have to do to place the slot if you want to you can take the fence from get to work in this gray color right here in between the peach and the orange and peach and the red, sorry. And retrace this. And I used it as a little bit of a divider there between the rooms. Um, that's optional though. You don't have to do that. Whenever I do apartment builds, I always take those back out. In houses, I just leave them. And that is how you place an apartment. It's quite simple, quite easy. I will always do my apartments where you just replace wall features over doors and maybe a cutout wall on a side if I have like spandrels that I don't want to mess with. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And I hope you have a great day.